Welcome back, everybody, to Quest for Glory 3, Wages of War. We're sleeping the night before we have to go to our meeting. All right, with Rakesh, we're going to go meet Raja. And he walks off automatically. You get up just in time for your meeting and quickly head to the Hall of Judgment. Okay. I can't wait to meet that fool again. Ugh. Oh. Okay, I think there's a lot of talking here. <laughs> Two months ago, the Simbani requested that we aid them in their war against the Leopardmen. It was the decision of this council to send emissaries to the Leopardmen to determine their grievances. The peace mission was ambushed at night by creatures or beings unknown. Evidence in the account of the sole survivor of the ambush, Khatib Makaram, indicate the Leopardmen. A warrior of Tarna, Rishaka Darkrisha, was discovered missing from the bodies of the emissaries. Signs and scent indicate some sort of struggle, and then all trace of Rishaka was lost. Rishaka Darkrisha is presumed to be dead, or else a prisoner of the Leopardmen. It is our duty to seek revenge upon the Leopardmen for those who are lost. The Lion Tars had no business involving themselves in the deeds of humans. The peace mission should never have occurred. It is the duty of all those in Tarna to care for her people, and the humans are as much the people of Tarna as the Lion Tars. The warriors of Tana desire revenge and the right to gain honor through battle. There is no honor in war, warrior of Tarna. There is only death. Man, Rakesh is so upright. My magic indicates that there are signs of demonic activity. If demons are involved, it is they who are the enemy, not the Leopardmen. Council of Judgment, I, Rakesh Satana, stand before you. I swear by my honor to prevent the war and to bring peace to all Tana. Rakesh Satana has sworn by his honor to bring peace to Tarna. If he fails, he shall be deemed honorless and shall be banished from Tarna forever. Uh-oh. Do you, Prince of Shapir, also swear by your honor to bring peace? You do have a choice here, but if you want to be a paladin, you have to swear the oath, and why would you say no? You're a nice guy, right? Swear it! The council will respect the honor of Rakesh Satana and allow him time to fulfill his oath. King Raja orders Rakesh and the Prince of Shapir to meet with him in his chambers immediately. Great. Can't wait. It's gonna be a party. Oh, here we go again. I stand before you, blah blah blah. He stands before me in honor. We have to greet quickly. Remember, you have to be nice to this guy or he will kick you out. You stand before him. Alright. Rakesh, are you so besotted by humans that you pledge your honor for them? What in the name of Sekhmet do you think you're doing? I have always pledged my honor to save lives, my lord. You human! Do you understand what it means to pledge honor? Oh my god! Help! You have to talk about honor. Just answer his question. You tell Raja the meaning of honor. When I want a lecture upon honor from you, I will ask it, human! Uh, excuse me, you did ask. Ooh, you did ask him, Raja, after all. Burn. When I want your comments, Rakesh, I shall ask for them. God, this guy's so mean. Rakesh, you and I have disagreed on many things, but I have always cared for you as my brother. I care greatly for you, Raja, and respect you as well. Oh, it's a family moment. However, if I feel that Tana must go to war, it shall go to war. Even if I must strip you of all honor, Rakesh, Tana will go to war. I only request that you wait until my friend here and I have done all we can to prevent this war. I will wait, but do not take too long. If the Simbani march against the Leopardmen, I intend that Tana shall aid them. You human! Do you have anything further to say? Yes, I do. You're an asshole. No. Talk about Rakesh. You tell Rakesh uh, that you tell Raja that Rakesh is a paladin and thus knows what honor is. Rakesh! Does this human fight your battles for you also? <laughs> he defeated the Earth Elemental in Shapir, and I could not, my lord. That was something we did in Quest for Glory too. You have indeed grown old, Rakesh, that a human must fight for you. A liontar lets the hyena pick his bones rather than ask for help from a human. Oh my god, what an ass! What a dick! I'm a paladin first, and then a liontar, Raja. Ooh, it's getting good in here. Rakesh, I cannot understand why you risk your honor and your life for humans. You could stay here in Tana as my advisor, or lead my armies as a commander. To risk everything for peace is beyond my understanding. I think a lot of things are beyond this guy's understanding, personally. This is an old argument between us, Raja, mother, son. Must we fight in front of my friend? Yeah, really. Awkward. Human, leave us now. 
say goodbye real fast. You do have to act this way in front of Raja. It's very important. I will meet you just outside the gates of Tarna. Then we will go to the Sambani village together. Okay. Have fun uh, fighting. Mori. All right. <clears throat> Meet outside. Finally, we're leaving this town. Holy crap. Should start to get a little more interesting now. And here we see the world map again. We're little dots. Leaving red poops behind us. It feels very good to be back in my homeland, my friend. This is the savannah. The high grasslands that teem with animals. Yeah, we saw so many when we were out there last time. <clears throat> there are few animals which will bother a traveler here. The zebras and other herd animals will avoid you. Even the tigers will seek other prey. Well, that's good. And yeah, we get the basic walkthrough of how to survive out here. However, there are things that are not quite animals. They have little fear of humans and may attack. The field guide to Eastern Fricana will help you, so study it well. I will be using my skills as a paladin to avoid danger. Uh, the field guide, I think, is the book that comes with this, the manual. I think that's what it is. You don't need it. As a paladin becomes more in tune with the essential rightness of the universe, he gains certain new abilities such as healing. The more good one does, the more good things one can do. So he gives us a little tutorial here about coming a paladin, which, again, I think I mentioned this, but you can only do that as a fighter in this game. I have been a paladin for a long time now, ever since the demons last invaded this land. We must prevent this war between people and drive away any demons back to the world from which they came. Sorry if my voice is a little hoarse. I just got back from a crazy vacation. I think I partied a little too hard. <laughs> I'm serious about that. Oh, I'm okay. Oh, and we've never seen this screen before. It's the second screen of the world map. You should do well in the Sambani village. The Sambani will respect a brave warrior like yourself. It is getting dark, and this looks like a good place to camp. It's always best to have a campfire at night. It drives off many things. If you don't yet own a tinderbox, I would advise you purchase one when you return to Tarna. We already got one. What is he talking about? I guess that's for the real stupid that couldn't really figure out that you should probably should light a fire. We don't see the campfire here, but we will later when we actually do it ourselves. And there's a couple scenarios you can get into when you sleep out here um, on the world map, which you can do. We'll be doing that a little later. Whoop. Good morning, my friend. Let's continue our journey to the Sambani village. I feel like no matter where my cursor is on the screen, like it's always covering up something important. <laughs> I hate that. Ah, oh, see, I did it again. The Sambani have always respected warriors. It will be difficult to convince the Sambani to resolve their differences with the Leopardmen peacefully. Well, why is that? Are they really stubborn too? Because it appears to be like everybody in this land is super stubborn. The young warriors will be eager to prove themselves in battle. Okay. War with the leopard men, even if demons are not involved, will be a very deadly thing. Oh, war usually is. The Sambani practice fighting in the savannah where it's easy to see the enemy. They use spears as weapons for throwing and close, and close combat. The leopard men hide in the jungle and cast spells from a distance. Spears cannot be thrown far in the dense growth of the jungle. I see what you mean. So it would basically be a really bad fight for everybody involved. If demons are the cause of these hostilities, then you can be certain that only the demons will win this war. Oh, that's positive. Good. I'm glad we're on this trip. Alright. This looks cool. Habari Mizi Minjoji Bibibi. His name is really Wesley Snipes. Missouri Lionman Rakish, it is good to see you. Oh yeah. It is good to see you, Mingoji. I have here a friend and brave warrior from afar to see your, the wonders of your village. Habari, Buana. Hi. I've never met you, so I'm gonna greet you real quick. Mzri, Buana. Uh, oh, yeah, I can't talk to him yet. Behold, the village of the Simbani. From the pen where the injured cattle stay, the huts where we sleep, and the places where we work and play, enter and be welcome. Uh-huh. Looks nice. We're most honored to enter your village, Kwaheri. Kwaheri, Rakish, Kwaheri, Buana. I'm gonna start making fun of this language pretty soon. I hope it's not real. I don't think it... Is it real? Like, is it an African? I don't know. I don't want to know. Because I know I'll mess it up. Oh, hey. Here's Ahura. And her little baby who's standing up now. In Quest for Glory 2, he was actually just crawling, I think, and on his back most of the time, so he's grown up. Hujumbo, ma banana. 
Hot to job. Oh, brother. <laughs> you look healthy and happy to be home again. It's very good to be home. I'd be happy to show you both the way, the Simbani. I'm trying not to be racist, you guys, but come on. I gotta do something different. Come then. We will meet with the leader of the Simbani, the Laban. The what? Never mind. Alright, another leader that we have to meet. So, do be on your best behavior here. Habari, Laban Makuba. Oh god, more of this language. <laughs> Missouri Sana, Laban Makuba. It is good to see you again, great leader of the Sambani people. It's good to see you, warrior Rakish. This guy is, uh. Yeah. Jordi LaForge. Laban, I have come here to bring peace to your people and the Leopardmen. I have sworn this by my honor. Missouri warrior Rakish, bring the Leopardmen chief to his knees before me, and you shall have this peace you pledge. What has caused this great anger for the Leopardmen, Laban Mikubwa? The Leopardmen have always been our enemies. They be sneaky and not to be trusted, for they only travel at night. The worst all be that they use magic. The Leopardman is the enemy. If the Simbani be seeking a lost calf in the jungle at night, the Leopardman uses magic against him. A Simbani cannot fight magic, so he must retreat. The Leopardman will not meet the Simbani in a fair fight. Well, what's fair to you might not be fair to somebody else. The Leopardman will always be our enemy, and now they have made a call for war. They stole from us the Spear of Death, and for that they shall die. They shall then have no longer be our enemy. Oh man. So loads of stubbornness abound in this place. <laughs> there are ways to resolve the conflicts between the Simbani and the Leopardmen other than through waging war. I would like to see you, Laban of the Simbani and the Chief of the Leopardmen, speak your grievances before the Hall of Judgment in Tarna. Perhaps there can yet be a peaceful resolu bleh, resolution of conflict. Sorry guys, this is so much talking. Holy crap. No, Rakish. The Spear of Death is stolen and we will fight to regain our pride. The worth of the spear will be paid in blood, not words. Oh crap. Straight up gangster. I've spoken. Quaherini. Oh brother. Quaheri Laban. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we need to get in peace. Okay. This guy's an ass too. Why are all the leaders around here retarded? Oh. Alright, we discussed things before evening. It is good to be back in your own hut again, is it not, Uhura? Good, very good, but Simba well worth leaving my home for. The Laban was most gracious to see us, yet I felt as though we were not welcome. I don't understand, for I have always respected him. How did we offend him, Uhura? I be not knowing, Rakish, the Simbani lost much honor with dealing a spirit with stealing the spirit of death. Still, for the Laban not to listen to your words of peace be not right. Perhaps you will listen another time. Oh my god, I'm tired of listening to you people. Let's tell about today, derp. You speak about the event which occurred today, which apparently nobody was present for. Yes, a long and most interesting day. Days be very good days when friends be together again. And now I think we can talk to them about some stuff. Oh god, lots of stuff. I'm gonna skim through this. The Laban be my mother's brother, and he has always been kind to me. I know not what be troubling him, so it's her uncle? That's interesting. Village, this is her home, plenty of cattle to eat, but it's not important. Oh, oops. The Spear of Death is a powerful weapon for the Simbani. Only the best of Labans may have the spear. Our Laban is the best of Labans. <sighs> well, la -di da How's Simba? Simba be very happy here. Many people here be holding and playing with Simba all the time. Everyone here his family. Oh, that's cute. Tell me about your hut. As one of the best of warriors, I'd be having my own hut. It needed to be fixed up when I got back, but it is again home. That's nice. I'm glad you have your own hut. How about you? Known the Laban a long time and respect him. He's a wise man and usually listens as well as speaks. Well, how come he didn't listen to us this time? As a youth, he'd be called Anahasima. He does not speak because he always be listening. I butchered that, but you get what I mean. It will not be easy to bring peace unless the Laban desires it. It is not easy to force war upon others. Oh, it is easy to force war upon others. Oh my god. But not to force peace! Too much talking when we come back! More talking! The Laban is an asshole. Everyone seems to be stubborn. What are we gonna do? I can't talk anymore. See you later, guys.